Um, so I am Mallory. I'm sitting here with Emily, Melissa, Krista, and Lee, and they are all from the Pull House, and we're talking about aerial silks. And I want to know, just pretty much for anyone who doesn't know, what are aerial silks? What would you describe them as? The best way to describe it is um, it's literally just a piece of fabric that's um, attached to the ceiling, very safely, but attached to the ceiling, mm -hmm. and um, that's more or less what you're using as your medium for uh, performing. Uh, the best way to describe it, if you've never seen it before, is if you've ever seen like a Cirque du Soleil show, um, there's a lot of fabric that you'll see, a uh, fabric work that you'll see in those shows, and that's um, probably a really good representation of a lot of stuff that uh, we'll be practicing. Maybe not you know, quite to that extent yet, but you mm -hmm. get there after practicing it for a while. Yeah. Does the Pole House provide uh, these classes then? They do, yep. Um, we're going to be expanding um, in the new year uh, with more classes throughout the entire week. And um, it's for all different levels. If you've never even heard of it before, you can come try a class. Or if you've been taking f at a different studio, maybe um, if you've moved in from somewhere else, um, we have advanced level classes as well. Mm -hmm. And I've been told that the Pole House is the only uh, place in London that does aerial silk classes? Currently, yes. This is yeah. the only place that you can take um, any type of aerial silk classes in London. So do you recommend, I guess, do aerial silk classes and like pole um, dancing kind of like co go in hand in hand? Like, would you recommend learning one before you learn the other one? There's really no um, right or wrong when it comes to learning one before the other. Um, there's definitely a lot of similarities that you'll get between uh, the strengths for, that you are required for both of them. However, they are also very different. With the pole, you have a very strong, um, solid object that's not going to move. Whereas with yeah. the fabric, there's absolutely no support given except for from like hanging from it. There's no yeah. like sideways support from it. So it's a very different uh, way of manipulation uh, when it comes to using the silks versus uh, cross training into pole. Mm -hmm. And I've never like, obviously I've never tried it, but it always like looks really cool. And yeah, I see it in like Cirque du Soleil or you'll see it on like TV shows. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like to me though, that it's pretty dangerous sometimes though. So like if something goes wrong, so how does like the pole house ensure like safety and how do you like teach that so that you don't mess up and do something because I feel like it could be pretty dangerous if, if things go wrong. If you were to attempt to do some of the stuff that you would see in Cirque du Soleil, yes, there's a very good potential <laughs> it would go wrong. However, with um, all the classes that we have where anything is going on up in the air, it's all a very, um, it's a very individual progression for each person. So nothing, no one moves on um, when, until they're absolutely ready to do it. There's no pushing, there's no pressure to be doing anything bigger than um, they're comfortable with, as well as the instructors have to be comfortable in the students' abilities to be able to progress them on because um, <coughs> we value safety more than anything, whether it's in a performance setting or just in a beginner class setting. <coughs> In addition to um, all the other um, instructor-led safety uh, precautions that we take, we also have physical um, precautions that we take as well. So um, for all of anything that's off the ground, um, that's not like starting from the ground, we have crash mats for every single apparatus we have, whether it's in um, the, you're on the pole or up in the air in the fabric of the silks, um, there's always a crash mat underneath you at all times. It's again, one of the precautions that we um, take as being a and, you know, one of the only studios in London that can offer this type yeah. of thing. Safety is paramount for us too. So uh, when it comes to um, being in the silks, there's always a little bit of uh, swinging. So there's a little bit of extra precaution that's taken where um, we really make sure that crash mats are readily available for everyone who's either trying things or um, just in general, always being there. And then for the pole, it's similar, but I know that there's some slightly different uh, uses for the crash mat when it comes to working on the pole. So I'll pass it over to one of the ladies to answer that one. Yeah, so the crash mats actually wrap around the poles. They Velcro around the poles. Oh, okay. And they have a hole, so they actually fit the pole right inside of it. So, so like, there's no way you're missing the crash mat. No, like, if you're, it's attached. If you're going down, <laughs> you're hitting the crash mat. And it's just like a... <laughs> It's like a material. Yeah, it's about a six inch, um, a six -ish inches uh, tall, and I'm pretty sure that there's a um, full compression force of somewhere around a 600 pound uh, weight rating oh, per, wow. in so per inch. So like, there's pretty much no way that, regardless of from how high you're falling, you're not going to compress all the way through the mat. So we take uh, these, you know, safety very seriously. That's awesome. Our instructors are also certified, and uh, we've all been taught how to properly spot people when they're in the air. Mm -hmm. So we, we know how to deal with the situation if a person needs help getting out of the air. Cool. That is really cool. Well, if um, you want to try or learn more about Aerial Silks, being that the Pole House is the only one in London, then you got to go check out their Facebook page. It's <coughs> at the Pole House.